Good morning, my people. I'm Real Talk. Thanks for tuning in to my Path of Peace TV. Today I want to talk a little bit about holding on to the past. I am guilty of this as well. You see, when we hold on to the past because someone did us wrong or we did someone wrong and we hold on to the past, we will never get to the future. We will never see God's blessing if we're always holding on to yesterday. Now, it's always easier said than done. It really is. It's always easier said than done when you're going through things in life. But we have to try our best to let go of things that we cannot change. And let the Lord handle all things that he can change. Because the more that we dwell in the past, the more that we will be held back from his blessing. Don't get me wrong. We, when stuff is done wrong to us, we, we are human, so we, we, we feel some kind of way about it. But we must understand that it is not good for our health or our overall body. Because you see, when we have thoughts in our mind of the past, it is basically keeping you as a prisoner in yourself. Because the more we dwell on yesterday, the more you're locked in a mental imprisonment in yourself because you cannot move on. And until we clear our mind of yesterday, then and only then will we be free from the captivity that's locked us in ourself in our mind. Because we're a prisoner to ourselves if we keep on holding on to yesterday and keep on talking about yesterday. And I say, I am guilty of this because I've been hurt. You know, and I'm sure some of you guys out there as well. And it's easier to say, let things go than it is to do. But if we let things go as much as we can and let the Lord fight our battle for us, we'll be in a better place. Now, you know, um, all things take time. And I'm working on it. Every day, I get a little better. The pain, the hurt, the betrayal, all these things, all add in and bother you. But you know, eventually, you get a little better. Each day, you survive the betrayal. Each day, you survive the hurt, the lies, and everything in between. Each day, one day at a time, it's building you up. It's making you stronger. So for you people out there that's listening to this video that have been hurt, been betrayal, or whatever the circumstance may be, maybe you're the one that did the betrayal. 
here's the thing that each second, each minute, each hour, each day bring a new day. And for the benefit of our health, we must try as much as we can to let go of yesterday. We cannot think that we will get to the promised land in paradise with God if we say one thing and do something else. If we say that we believe in the Father, but then you're holding back past in the past what someone done to you. You didn't forgive that person. Therefore, um, our Father will not forgive us. We have to make our heart as pure as we can. As pure as we can. Not as pure as man can see it, but as pure as God can see it. Because God see all, we cannot hide anything from Him. So we need to make our heart pure. We need to try our damnedest to forgive. Take whatever, whatever action you have to take within the law, of course, but we must learn to forgive. I believe in this, and I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to practice it as I speak. It's hard. But it's doable. Don't let us not make the past ruin our future. Because we don't know what is around that corner, like I said in several of my video. But if we die today and we have anger in our heart and grudge and resentment and all these things in between, then trust and believe this, we cannot enter the kingdom of God because we didn't forgive our brother and sister on this earth for the wrong that they have done to us. So if we cannot forgive them, how do we think that the Lord will forgive us for our transgression, for our, for our sin, for our misdeed, for our, um, you know, how, we, how do we think that he will forgive us? If we will not forgive someone. And you know, for people that um, think, well, this person did me wrong, I can't forgive them. You know, you don't, you don't understand the bad that they have done to me, the lies they have told on me. The whole thing, like I said, I've, I've been betrayed, betrayed. But it's not just that I've been betrayed been betrayed by people that I really care about, family member. But you know what it is though? It is what it is. Because I have done wrong in the past too. I am not going to sit here on this tape and become a victim and pretend that I'm a victim. You know, we all reap what we sow in life. Whether it come today, tomorrow, 10 years, 100 years from now, it will come. Trust and believe this. We all will reap what we sow. The wrong that we've done to someone in the past may not come back from that person, but will come back from someone else's hands. We reap what we sow. And it may not come in the, the same form of misdeed that you've done to someone else. It may come into a different, different angle. But as long as we're living in this world, remember this, my people. What goes around, comes around. What goes up, must come down. So, don't think for a second that you, we, get away with anything. But when it happened to you, you're going to dismiss it and don't think that it's common. But it is. So my people, let go of the past. As I'm telling you this, I'm trying my very best to do so. I'm not telling you anything to let myself look better than anything else. I am a real dude. I'm going to keep it at 100. You know what I mean? I am fighting 
the demons that is inside of me. And these demons is the one that tell you not to let go of nothing and fight and do stuff. No, don't give that, don't give that demon, don't give the devil the power over you. Because the only power over you should be from God. That is love and his compassion. All right, my people, I'm going to let it go for now. You know, please um, follow me on this Facebook and Path of Peace YouTube channel. Also on my anchor, the Path of Peace TV, on Spotify, and the anchor. Also, um, check out my Bargain Deal USA. Dot com. Okay, um, we got some nice items for sale, decent price, plus with free shipping and 15% off. All right.